something about shock value and uh oh yeah it's, were we yeah, and then we were moving on to who could survive and how red 13 yes they said in uh the cell phone game that was part of the final fantasy 7 compilation they showed that there was a female of his kind okay they showed that there was a female of his kind that survived and that's how they did it. But they never mentioned in the original game how Red would have been yeah, able to reproduce. But here's the issue, and, and this is something that they should really address. How does only two of them survive and, you know, be able to reproduce and create things? Because you got to understand, a little thing about genetics here. You need us. There's a certain amount, and usually I think it's around like 4,400 to have a healthy society. Two people are not going to solve this. <laughs> not with that attitude. You're, you're going to you get... me, man. You're going to get... Dub, dub. <laughs> Only two men in this tub. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> oh, this is... This might be hellacious right here. I just summon you. I can't in this small area. And the only reason is because these fuckers like to stick between... Yep, now he's immune. So now we do fire up. No or Aerith just says, fuck you. Yeah! Oh, yeah! And now he's got immunity. Not immunity. Protect. He's got immunity! Uh... Now he's saying he don't got any immunity. son of a bitch. Fly away. Come on. Come fly away. Come fly I'm away. I'm not a fan of this weapon. I'm not a fan. Why are you using that? Because I want all the abilities. It, even though I have the trophy already for that. Shut up! Entertainment. <laughs> for the, like, the one person who might watch this. Entertainment for the thousand year door. There we go. Mother! It's over. God, mother! Home run, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Get That's him. right. Stay Get him there. there. Stay there and take Get in it. the corner and stay. Oh, no. He, he dug in the ground. Ah! Oh. Let's do this. He just batted him away, though. God damn it. Try Slash. If, it, if the... What the flying fuck? Fireball. 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 Yeah. Yeah, thanks, game. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! <laughs> Isn't that how you win? No, I run up and punch things in the face, good sir. Alright, well. Okay, so as long as I stay in here, eat a dick? As I realize he's got reflect on. Good job. Good job, me. Good job. Good job. Some men don't want to watch the world bird. Some men just want to eat potato chips and sit on the couch. You know what? I got nothing to that. I got nothing to that. Why so robotic? Come on, come on, come on, bro. I'm right here, bro. Why so robotic? You know what? Try slash. With a bat. Stop. Just Never! Stop. Oh, this isn't as bad as I remember. Then again, I was totally unprepared. Runs away, summons fat chocobo. Not bad. Now why you gotta be that guy? I just wanna see it. I wanna see I fat chocobo. I know you chocobo. wanna see- Don't- Do not worry, my friend. You will see all the summons, except for Bahamut. That's not happening. Mega Flare. No. And yes. <laughs> but you will not see that. Trust uh, me. I need to see a Mega Flare. <laughs> oh, God! I'm coming! Should wind up. I think that's the only thing that's going to truly be able to defeat the end boss. What? Mega Flare. Okay. You know. <laughs> fuck. Where are the other... Okay, no. That takes us out of the area. All right, there, there's another one around here somewhere. Another three that are going to fuck my day. Fucking bat. You know, you're right. Why should I? I'm not going for the trophy anymore, but at the same time... Why not? It's a bat. Who doesn't want to use a heavy club? A cudgel. There we go. And I don't know if I scan these fuckers either. 
Scan them! Scan these bitches! And I can't because I took the stupid material off! Pause the game or run away and then put it back on. I don't think I can pause. I don't think I can run away. Can I? Game, will you let me run away like a cow? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a coward! Coward! <laughs> I didn't think it let me do that. Coward! Alright, so now we get rid of heal because... Why would... Who needs healing heal on a cloud? There we go. All right, I'm a coward. <laughs> hey, okay. The hero will die once, but a coward will live many lives and have sex with the hero's wife. Thank you. Well, that's what else agrees in my adage. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh. God damn it, cloud. Uh, crowd, you can do it. God damn it, Aerith. Aerith. I already knew. Heels. Yeah, Oh my god, that's like 10 billion fireballs. I know, right? I mean, he's taking like half damage. What are what are you assholes doing? We're gonna run away. That'll teach you. Okay, I need abilities because I don't think I. So I think these are the only time I can. Yep, there we go. Wind materia again. The only magic I don't have. What it do? What it be? What it do? Where it going? Whoa! Oh, God! Stupid wind up! <laughs> God damn, I hate this weapon! You did your wind up for days. And it, you still nope. use it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sometimes you don't. People don't want to hear the truth, okay? <laughs> but I don't want What a society it is. And yet, we live in one. God. <laughs> Damn it. Deadly Dodge, help me. So there I was. Standing on the ramparts. It's my friend. Full yeah, charge God. into a dragon's fiery breath. <sighs> tried. Dying like a hero. He tried so hard to make the derp dragon a thing. He tried so hard to make... How is that heroic? He tried so hard with derp dragon. What? What's heroic about suicide running into a dragon? You just aren't getting it, okay? Like, I don't understand how... Uh, subtext and subtlety, clearly. Subtext and subtlety. Look, it's midday! I heard, I heard, you got him Look at me. My mouth opens very wide as I talk. Does he have a five o'clock shadow? No. He's just a very dirty model. <laughs> just a very dirty model. No one's cleaning it. That sounded dirty. You're dirty. You're a dirty birdie, aren't you? Look at that kid just chilling on the side there. He's like, yeah. yeah. I own this bordello. <laughs> you know how it is. What are you looking at there, jean jacket? I'll kick your ass. <laughs> I didn't get my bodega gun so you could sit here and talk to me this way. When I get that installed onto my arm, like all people oh do, god. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> oh my god. Leave me alone before Ghostbusters oh, that's dandy right. of a brother appears. This guy, he activates the. Oh god, okay. Before we do that, how. Well, okay, what are. Ooh! We're almost done. But where, dear good sir, is Seymour? Wrong game, but I like what you're thinking. How far am I to getting the stupid thing? Farther than you would think. Well, not that far. Strike with attack or strong attack after switching modes. It's just that simple. All right, old timer, what do you got for me? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Charlie Bronson. That's impossible, though. We were all killed in... What was that? Death Wish 3. So how is this possible? I believe, if I remember correctly, I believe Death Wish, Death Wish 3 or Death Wish 4 is the one where he was walking around New York City with a... Browning M80 
and was mowing every or M60 and was mowing everybody down. And for those of you who don't know what an M80 is or an M60, uh, an M80 is a firecracker, but an M60 is the massive heavy gunner gun you would find on like the back of jeeps. <laughs> he was walking around with one of those belt feeding shots into it, killing scumbags and degenerates. <laughs> is this the same guy I'm thinking of? The guy from uh, is it? True Blue or something? The cop show? No. Nah. Okay, then yeah. Charlie Bronson, he was a great man. Okay, if you... And did... Death Wish was amazing. Alright, if you're telling me that this is a guy who's already dead, then no, I don't think this is the yeah. guy I'm thinking of. He died a long time ago. Okay. In his first movie, he killed Denzel Washington what? and Jeffrey Goldblum. What? Yeah. Both of them were... Oh, Okay. Evil, evil degenerates and uh, punks. Okay, before we do this. Except for, you know, unlike in uh, the Japanese anime, you know, delinquents were not actually cool in the 70s. <laughs> These were the pull out a switchblade and stab you after stealing all your money kind. Alright, now I remember these guys. Oh my god, what are they? Scorpios? We fought these before. I don't remember. Did I... I got Here's the thing. Oh, you dick. You scratched your back. You did scratch my back. And my I friend didn't... was saying he was watching Seven Deadly Sins in English because they just finally put it out, and he was quite upset. With the cast or the uh, localization? With the localization. Because he said they fixed some of the animation because Japan... Or, not Japan. Um... The guys who originally did Seven Deadly Sins left. Damn! Oh, they knocked both of them away. Um, they they gave the show to somebody else, and they localized it entirely differently. Or not oh, localized, you bastards! Uh, they um, they animated it differently because they okay. censored a lot of the violence. And. Um, what was it? He was saying the localization just it didn't have the same punch and pizzazz that the, the Japanese did. Because, uh, what is it? When you see the Escanor versus Meliodas fight, um, he, what is it? Meliodas does thousand cuts to him, and in the original, uh, in the Japanese, whatchamacallit says, uh, he just goes, huh, itchy. But in the English version, he, like, does a quip about it tickling. And I was like, that that doesn't work, though. They, they nerfed my boy Escanor. That, that's all I'm going to say. That's what they did in English. They did him dirty. Yeah, they did him dirty. Cruel son, man. It's even worse, because it's fucking Hong Zhang who's doing it. Not now? Hong Jong, uh, oh, you mean Kyle Herbert? Xu, uh, yeah, it's uh, Xu Huang. Yeah, it's Xu Huang. Yeah. It's Kyle Herbert. Let's do this. It's, uh... It's yeah, sad. Damn it. We've gotta get through this. Should have gave Aerith. Wow, Aerith, really? Just taking a right, little... Don't go at her. Target me. Target me, you degenerates. Oh, ho! Spider people. Fight me, cowards. But yeah, yeah, I, uh... I enjoy the Seven Deadly Sins just for Escanor. He's the best part. Uh... Thunder. I fell off that after a while. Yeah, I miss him much. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that much. I forget where I left off. Escanor is probably the best part. What a joke. And that's it. Nope, there we go. I don't know why anybody would watch it for any other character. Escanor is there the main go. character. Eat a dick! Got him with the counter! Oh, you bitch! You know, it was quite a strong hit. It was my own. <laughs> why would I why would I pity you is it a no what does he say to the one uh, when he's fighting Esther Rosa he says um, 
Just taking and make sure to do me a deal. Don't go on and hate me, because I don't want you to, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't want your uh, commandment to stop you from fighting. And he goes, he said, well, you make sure to, it's something effective, make sure you don't do the same. And he goes, why would I hate those who are weaker than me? Nah. I only feel pity. <laughs> Healing wins, motherfucker. <laughs> that was a good heal. It was. Come on, come on. My other favorite is right after that when uh, Escanor throws a punch. He hits it into uh, Estherosa. Estherosa's standing there, and he's like, "That was all you had." Now you ask yourself, how do you do a cross slash with a bat? But you do. <laughs> um, you were saying. Yeah, he throws a punch into Estherosa, and Estherosa's like, "Yeah, well, what was that?" And then he falls to his knees because the shockwave of the hit finally hits to him, and he's like, "Oh God." Holy crap, that was heavy. And then Escanor just turns and looks at him and goes, Oh, what, did you drop a penny or something? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't even know if Denny watches Seven Deadly Sins. I think he said he did. He does. You know, what's, you know what strikes me funny about him? What's that? Is he says he hates reading manga and reading uh -huh. books in general. But he'll sit through freaking texts of D and D books to find optimal funny builds, but he won't sit down for like a minute or two, like five to ten minutes to read a manga. Yeah. And all the manga is is usually panels because with pictures. He's just gaining something from learning D and D. Come on. What's he learning? I don't know optimization pads and shit. For what he does it? It's like he came to D and D too late in life. I mean, he kind of did, because if he really wanted to go with, like, the optimization, like, the munchkin builds, he should have went with, like, 3.5 or, uh, especially 4th edition. 4th edition was the peak of, you needed to know exactly what you were building. No, but I mean, like, he's married, he's around at home, host our age, he wants to have a kid, so if he has a kid, that means he's going to have even less time for all that stuff. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He's not like us, the perpetual single guys. Yeah. Uh, Five thousand. Am I getting money? I could give you Mooney. It's like money, but it's for Moogles. Isn't that just Gil? What? It's like yen. Okay. It's a made-up money that doesn't really exist. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Hold on a second there. All right, Angel of the Slums, and then we'll be done with the Yay! side quests. We'll be, how close am I to getting my damn thing so I can get rid of this weapon and never use it again? Because it's pure horseshit. Oh, I just need to do it one more time, then I can go back to the Buster Blade or something else. You know it. Go back with the classics. Well, I mean, dude, the best weapon, I think, is the game, the end game weapon. Only because it gives you such a ridiculous skill ability. How do you build the ultimate weapon, though? Oh my god, I can't wait for Final Fantasy Remake Part 9 to give me the ability. Listen! Part 9, he says. Listen, if half the rumors I hear are true, and some people think the next game, Part 2, is only gonna go up to fucking Junior Harbor, to which I'm like, no, because even if they remake it, they're going to have to put a lot of shit in there, because the only thing that happens between leaving Midgar and Junior Harbor is Calm, the Mines, which is just a dungeon, and maybe Fort Condor. Everything else, there's nothing else in between there unless they fucking massively overhaul it. And even then, that's too short of a game and story-wise. Each install, Midgar makes sense. You could make a whole game about Midgar, like they did. It makes sense. It's its own confined space with its own ecosystem. When you go into a bigger world, you have to make sure there's enough... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. You have to make sure there's enough in that world to make it feel, you know, like, hey, you want to go here, you want to do this. There's got to be stuff to keep you interested. I feel like if they do part two, part two should at least go up to Cosmo Canyon. Because then that way, if you want to end it on Cosmo Canyon and you have Red 13's arc, the next game picks up in Nibelheim. And then you can get Vincent and Sid, your last two party members. What? No. That's not what we're doing here. I mean, I personally you wouldn't just, want that. I would just, want them to go all the way to Rocket Town or you something. You just don't know nothing. Okay? Why, hello there, Sonny! 
Is that guy, okay, that person's wearing a shirt. I thought they were shirtless. <laughs> I, I, I thought we were just walking into a methadone clinic or something. <laughs> hey, how's it love, going? Do you, do you love how Cloud, when he started, she started talking, he just put his hands on his hips like the Superman fucking pose, and he's like, Hello, civilian. Hello, I, Cloudaru Cypheru, will save you. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, ladies. Mike, can you tell me who's the um, odd duck out in here? Um... Is it I'm gonna this woman? No. That man? The janitor? No, I'm gonna go with uh, Genghis Khan there. <laughs> Good to see you. Again. What? It was Genghis Khan. Pirates? Aren't they supposed to be making another pirates movie? I think so. Mike, here's a surprise. Who do you think is the angel of the slums? Um, clearly. It can't be Genghis Khan. <laughs> because Genghis Khan here has killed 600 tribes and put them all under her will and whims. So she is the ultimate street queen. She's, she's trying to make her way into the Shinra company to take that down, but they have this crazy thing called walls that aren't made of sheetrock. And, uh... How much gel do you think he has to put in his hair to make this? Yes. <laughs> Didn't even let me finish the sentence, you dick. <laughs> the answer is yes. How much? How much do you think she's got to put in there? What? That's those, those, those spikes That's are, natural vagabond no, hair. No, that that vagabond hair is not natural. Okay. That is not natchy, okay? What do you have to say about this, Stanley? This dude got a pompadour going on? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Okay. No, he just, he, his hair is just slicked back like he's about to tell me some dirty Guido <laughs> secrets about how to make pasta sauce. Oh, Jesus. What about this guy? I don't know. What, what is with this guy? He's a newsie! A newsie? Isn't that the? Isn't that a thing? Isn't that a term of the century? No, no, that's no. a that's a different thing. It's an entirely <laughs> different thing. You know, you don't want to be associated with them. Although he does have very similar outfit to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then he's a he's a pompous. Uh, damn, I was about to, he's a pompous news person. There we go. I forgot the name of a news. So he's a news person. He's a journalist. There you go. Shut up. Shut up. Ah, look at me! You know what, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna get back at you. You're gonna be all like, I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, yeah? Yeah? I trip him. <laughs> I'll do to you what I did to Alex. It's not doing anything ridiculous, though. Can I do a triple sow cow and a uh, front I roll flip? to see if I can trip him. Nat 20. You stick your foot out right before you do I love that you let me do that. You're just like... You stuck your foot out. Yeah, it's what you gotta do. Wasn't even something extravagant to match the 20. It was just, no, something simple. Trip. <laughs> Into the water. This guy looks like he's about to shit himself. What are you? No. I am a daemon and you're what? I don't even understand this. Well, at some point, I think they're doing the cocaine is bad for you, but this girl next to this blonde is fine. I am a robot. Ah, he's a robot, you see. I am programmed to destroy all distributors. I'm just trying to figure out the future here. And you just see Cloud grab him by the throat and throttle him to the fucking... Th Dead or alive, you're coming with me, Dread. <laughs> Somehow I keep turning into D to Judge Dread. <laughs> it's not even Robocop, it's, it's it, Judge fucking Dread. Let's be honest, at a certain point, Robocop and Judge Dread are the same thing. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. That is my HP. Shit. Go talk to Chudley. Chudley's probably got something for I you. I don't got nothing for Chudley because I haven't... I haven't synthesized. Synthesized. Jazzercised. See? I haven't... Wait, did I? Oh, well, never mind. I did. Hold on. Hold on, you lovely people who aren't watching. Come on. Chudley. What do you got for Chudley. us? Chudley. Stop that. <laughs> that's that's disturbing to me on a personal level for some reason. I am a robot. Why is it? Let me Chadley. synthesize this. I'm Chadley. <laughs> what are you saying? Your fucking facts? Fat Jogobo. No, no. 
Damn, how no many... No fat chocobos! How many do I have to do? Too fucking many. What is this What's butterfly on my arm? I don't want it anymore. <laughs> really? Am I out already? No, come on. I am. Oh, then I guess we're going to fight Fat Chocobo in the next chapter. Oh. Huh. 